Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Wayne's World of Science and Technology. Hopefully, I've got the sound fixed. I've made some changes to the system. We'll see how it works. Anyway, this is Western Equipment Losses and Donations to Ukraine, Part 2. You okay, know, start off by saying Russian disinformation claims they've destroyed everything sent by the West to Ukraine and will continue to do so. Let's look at some of the evidence. Um, the following date that was taken from Oryx, the open source intelligence site. I've removed all Soviet, Ukrainian, and Russian design systems and systems based on them, leaving only systems from the West. The data was retrieved Tuesday, October 22nd. Yes, I know how far long ago that was, but I wanted to work from the same data set all the way through this. Um, things look better than you've been told, but remember, the Russians started this with a huge stockpile. Ukraine needs a lot more equipment to make up for the deficit. This is the second part of a video that's been planning for over a year. I've held off because I've been watching pro-Russian channels spinning events so hard the poor bastards must be totally dizzy by now. Which makes us the time to drop this October surprise, even though it's November. Here's what Russia can prove they've destroyed. You know what they said? Prove. They've made claims of destroying 14 Challenger 2 tanks in a week in Kursk when the Ukrainians only had 12 tanks in service. So, yeah. Uh, curiously, they were never able to provide photographic evidence for any of this, and yes, it has been asked for. Not only by me. A lot of people have asked. They also claim to have shut down the entire Ukrainian Air Force three times over. Now, the logic of that is just a little bit too much for my poor brain, you know, I mean, I know the Russians are good, but that good? They could shoot down three times the number of planes the Ukrainians have? Wow. Look at how much of the equipment Russia can prove they've destroyed as compared to donations and tell me Ukraine is losing. Okay, this is part two. So. We're on the Mamba 2 Elvis. Seven delivered, four lost, three still in service. The RG31 Nyala Ambulance. And don't ask me how I got an equal sign in there. One delivered, zero lost, one in service. The Bushmaster Protective Mobility Vehicles. 120 delivered, 18 lost, 102 in service. International M1224 Max Pros. 462 delivered. 146 lost, 316 in service. Mastiff and Wolfhound protected patrol vehicles in a single lot. Um, it wasn't able to tell which was which. 80 delivered, 36 lost, 44 in service. Oshkosh MATVs. None delivered apparently. 25 lost, who knows how many in service. Bat UMG truck. 66 were supposed to be delivered according to Bill, but they aren't on the Oryx list. Um, one's lost. That would leave 65 in service if the statement is correct from Bill. ATF Dingoes. 50 delivered, 9 lost, 41 in service. BMC Kirby's. 200 delivered, 45 lost, 155 in service. Russell Sender MRAPs. 1170 delivered, 52 lost. 1,118 in service. Now, I want everybody to know, these are all brand new production. In other words, they were produced after February 24th, 2022. So, uh, that gives us sort of an idea of what a small Canadian company can output. M114 and M1151 Humvees, 3,048 delivered, 218 lost, 2,830 in service. And I'll note at this point that we have seen plenty of photographic and video evidence of Russian troops riding to attacks in vans, on motorcycles, and golf carts. Would you rather be on one of them or in one of these? Think about it. M117, armored security vehicles. 400 promised with delivery starting in early 2024. They don't see whether or not they've all been delivered or not. Three lost, we don't know how many are still in service. AT-105A Saxons, 75 purchased by Ukraine, 14 lost, 61 in service. BMR 3560.54, uh, these are ambulance versions. Two delivered, zero lost, two in service. And sorry, this is the bog standard model, I couldn't find a pick of the ambulance. 
Cougar 4x4 MRAP, not stated, but deliveries were supposed to be completed in March 2023. Uh, none seemed to be lost, or at least I couldn't find any uh, known losses. Uh, I don't know, know how many are in service. Unknown MRAPs, 520 delivered, 55 lost, 465 in service. Now, I want you to think about those numbers. As I said, Ukraine needs more equipment. They need a hell of a lot more equipment. And they also need a lot of ammunition to go with that equipment. But they're in far better shape now in some ways than they were at the start of this. They have better equipment. Now, yes, they've lost a lot of experienced troops. Uh, a lot of the troops that they've got are probably nearing burnout from fighting for so long. And that is definitely a problem. But they're not in horrible shape for equipment. And if we can get them out some more equipment, like those 35 tanks that the Australians are talking about sending relatively quickly, that would be a huge win. And it could really you know, make a difference. The French Mirage fighters, everybody kind of laughs at them. But the French are upgrading the electronics. This is going to make the things useful. Even without upgraded electronics, these fighters are still more than capable of lugging cruise missiles around and firing them off. And for that matter, they're quite capable of hunting cruise missiles. You just wouldn't necessarily want to put them up against an SU-35 in a dogfight. They'd lose. Um, the F-16s might win against an FU SU-35 in a dogfight. I don't know. But, again, you don't necessarily want a dogfight. You want these planes to keep control over your territory and to deliver precision ordnance. And that they can do. And that basically means that Russia's ability to move forward is going to be severely constrained. You know, you're trying to ride motorcycles. Well, that kind of works in summertime. And yeah, one of the reasons my body is in such freaking horrible shape is the fact that I used to ride motorcycles in wintertime. We used to race the snowmobiles. Uh, yeah, we were kind of nuts. But anyway, um, point being, a lot of what Russia's been doing only works in summer and only works when you've got reasonably solid footing. Well, it's gotten a lot wetter there. In a lot of places, the ground is so wet you literally find it hard to move. And um, it's soon going to freeze up. At which point, what are you going to do with golf carts and motorcycles? They just are not going to be that useful. So, I think Ukraine's in a lot better shape than most people believe. They aren't as good a shape as I'd like. But, that's me. Anyway, that's it for tonight, folks. I hope you all have a good evening, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Oh, and sorry, this will be uploaded. All the data up will be uploaded to my Patreon in the free section. Anybody can download it, look at my work, and see exactly what I've come up with. And I marked today's uh, pieces, which I pulled out in green. Uh, the other ones were highlighted in yellow for the first day, so that'll tell you where to look. Bye-bye.